Hello, Nikita here. I just wanted to let you know that we are One Stop Shop. You may be saying, who are we? Say how you feel custom t-shirts. Just you soap company. J2415 photography. Deliciousness on the move. And expressive boutique plus size clothes. If you are ever in need of natural body products, Just You Soap Company, visit us at JustYouSoapCompany.com. If you're ever in need of custom t-shirts, feel free to reach out by text to 615-779-2890 and we will definitely get you a quote. If you're ever in need of catering services, you can also reach out by text to 615-779-2890 or photography the same number. Reach out by text to 615-779-2890. You can also inbox us or email us at the emails, email address excuse me, provided in the description. As always, be blessed, be in peace, and remember to say how you feel. Hello, 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 hello. I'm Will. And this is Nikita. And we are a couple of goobers. Goobers, 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 goobers. <laughs> So we're going to, that's my way. So what we're going to do is we got a new movie we want to talk about today. Mm -hmm. And before we do, we want you to first like, share, subscribe, and comment. Comment. Let us know what you think. We would love to know what you and guys are talking about. Hit the notification about. bell uh, so you'll know when we have new videos posted. And if you leave a comment, don't be mean, okay? Be nice. Okay, be nice. Be nice to us and the other people that comment, okay? Okay. Okay, <laughs> so if you want to know what movie we're going to be talking about, come back after this. We're back. Yeah. So what movie are we doing today? Today we're going to be talking about Honk. For Jesus. Honk for Jesus, it's Lord. Honk for Jesus, save your soul. That's the name of it. Save my soul, Lord. Yes, it was released. Uh, actually, it was released in theaters and on Peacock um, September yeah, 2nd on, of this year, 2022. It is listed as a comedy satire, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. Uh, it's <laughs> one hour and 42 minutes in and out in and out um and it stars sterling k brown as lee curtis childs regina hall as trinity childs and nicole bahari i think is how you pronounce her name as shakira uh sumter um and you can look them up if you don't know who they are sterling k brown was on this is us um well my favorite show he was on was Army Wives. I'm yes, just he's say been on Army Wives. I just said this is us because it just ended, and you may know what that is. Came on channel. I love Army Wives. Four, I think. Um, was it NBC it came on? Well, I think so. Um, this is yeah. us. And yeah. then Regina Hall, you know, scary movie. You name it. Uh, she you claim name it. it. Uh, she was just in Me Time. Um, she's just been on a lot of stuff, y'all. A lot of stuff. Um, so synopsis. According to IMDb, in the aftermath of a huge scandal, which you don't find out what that is until. Towards the end of the movie, yeah. Trinity Childs, the first lady of a prominent Southern Baptist megachurch, attempts to help her pastor husband, Lee Curtis Childs, rebuild their congregation. Go ahead and let you know now. There's going to be some spoilers because um, I don't know how to tell you uh, what I, I think about the movie without telling you about the movie. Yeah. So uh, for me, okay, so they're rebuilding their congregation. Okay, so you don't know what the scandal is again until like the latter part of the movie. So the movie is shot in, um, what do you call that? Cause you know what it's actually called. Cause you know, they're doing like a sort of a, um, a documentary kind of a, type uh, style, but they're talking, uh, like a, the word I'm looking for is more of a third person type. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. But I wasn't sure. The fourth okay. dimension. They're talking into the camera more right. so. But it's not you. They're talking, talking to, to per se. Yeah. Because what it is, is there's a film crew that I've, uh, gather that the husband, yeah, the husband's got a film crew there that's supposed to be documenting their relaunch. Yeah. Uh, so and their struggle and their struggle. So they're talking to you, but they're talking to them via the camera to yeah. do doing the interview thing, right? Um, so they go through all of this. You could tell that they have tension in their marriage um, for whatever reason, and then you see one of the things is a little 
uh, sexual frustration. You find that out uh, in, from a scene. Uh, he's so enthralled and entranced with trying to get his membership back up, uh, built, built back up from this scandal that he doesn't see that his wife is basically drowning. Yeah, and, uh, and, and lost. And lost, and she's not very happy because they already had, obviously they already had some issues before this came up, and now they've got this, but... Before this came out. Before this came out. it was out. already there. Right, right, it was already there before it came out. Uh, but she's so entrenched in being a first lady, she kind of doesn't know anything else, so she really wants it to work too. Yeah. So... It's kind well, of a, it becomes a situation where that becomes a part of your DNA. Yes. You know, how do I let this go? Can I step away from this? And if I do, then who am I? Right. The identity. What's my identity? Okay. Yeah. Outside of this, what is my identity? So what had happened was, is that they lost their membership. Okay. So what happened is, is that a younger couple, and I couldn't get the gist of the people went to their church or they mentored them. I, I watched the movie. I think they went to the church and mentored them. Okay, and I couldn't get that. I don't know why, but I couldn't get that's it. That's what it presented as. Right, but it's, that's that's what I'm saying. I was, I, But anyway, it's that the Nicole Bahari and her husband, uh, she plays, again, Shakira or something. So they have started a church, and they started a church during the, I guess, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, while they were in scandal and a lot of their members left and went to them and then they end up opening a second location. So the thing about the uh, honk for Jesus Savior. So what it is, is that they picked this day to come back out right from this scandal to reopen their church, to relaunch their church. I'm talking about uh, the child's right. Uh, Sterling K. Sterling Brown, Brown and Jamie Paul's uh, characters. Yeah. They find out that that is the exact same day that the younger couple, uh, they're going to launch are they going to open church. their new, new church? Is yeah. it a new church or a new location? Well, a new location. They their rebuilt, new location. They finally okay, built so, a location. Right, so, they, so yeah. they have a new location. So they that's the same day. So one of the scenes is them going to them saying, hey, you know, um, that's the day that we're, we've picked to do our relaunch. You know, uh, could you move, you know, your, your day, day, you know, so we could da da da. So there's this thing that's like, you know, well, whatever the Lord has for us, you know, we're going to do. That's what, the, that's what the other couple said. So then he decides, because I think Easter is the day that they all yeah. are doing this. So then Sterling K. Brown's uh, character says, you know what? We're going to do it this Sunday. So we I don't guess need to say, wait to Easter. We don't need to wait to Easter. She said, are you sure about that? Because we already got it. She said, yeah, this is what God, you know, we're going to do. We're going to do it. She's obviously she's like, this is just such a bad idea. <laughs> but she goes along with it. And then what had happened was is that they decide that they're going to open, do their launch the same day. Well, well here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> in, in, in retrospect, in my thought process. Yes. When they, they realized that they were going to change their day. Yes. So they changed their day to the same day. Yes. Any day they would have picked. That was going to be the day that they did it. Yep. Because they were doing, they did it intentionally. Yeah. It, it yeah. wasn't, it wasn't like, oh, because, because um, uh, they, the, the, the people who are doing the documentary interview the other couple and they say, well, you know, we just decided, we prayed about it. And we just decided they can gonna, have the they Easter. can have Easter. We're gonna do it, but by then they had already done it. They already done it. They knew they had changed their Sunday. So and I think I think <laughs> I, I think the reality of it is the crazy part. I guess that hits me about the film is all around. I, I think I know people like this <laughs> yeah <laughs> on both sides. You know, what I'm saying you kind of you know the younger couple, the other passes, the scandal. Uh, Which that, I haven't gotten to yet. Yeah, that's yeah. not a, a, a unheard of situation. I've seen it. I've heard of it. I try to stay clear of all the foolery that goes along with it. Uh, but I think my wife posed a very interesting question. So, um, the scandal is this. It is... Um, he is, he's grooming young men. So I can't call him a pedophile because it's never said that he is a pedophile. But what it is basically is that he's grooming young men in order to have Someone call him a a sexual p- relations with them. Someone call him a predator. Yeah, you could say that because he's, and the way that he's grooming them is he's, he's giving them, uh, you know, compliments, telling them if you need anything, I can mentor you, uh, 
giving them gifts and stuff like that. This is what you gather, right? So the thing is, what's hap- what had happened was is that he's being sued by a group of these young men that he's done this to that were in the church. But they were grown. They were, I said men. Yeah. <laughs> I said young men. Well, I said it because... They were adults. I said it because even the word predator to me is kind of a harsh thing to say. Well, and I'm not agreeing with what they're doing. That's my part, please. Because there are people who are there are people actually, that do it, you know, and there are people they're, that are in that situation. They're doing that in these churches. So. Yeah, but I, I feel as though a man is a man in the sense that you ain't retarded. Or well, let me take that back. I ain't gonna say the word retarded. I'm gonna say you're not mentally challenged. Uh, you ain't, you know, touched in the head. Then you ain't, you know something ain't in this relationship ain't working. It's not right. So then you should see the signs. The flip side of that coin is men are, you know, kind of. Well, if you're the you pastor know. of the church and I'm kind of in a, a, I'm vulnerable in that maybe I don't have a father, maybe no one has ever showed any type of concern for me. Yeah. So this is what he does. And then it ends up really what you wanted was something totally different. And then by then, these people feel like they're obligated to do X, Y, and Z. Now, at some point, I don't know, and I don't know, I've never been in a situation, so I don't know, why not at some point, and I don't want to trigger anybody, let me say that. Yeah, it's not about triggering people. Let's do a trigger warning, just in case, because I don't want to trigger anybody. Um, I don't know why, at some point, they didn't realize, hey, wait a minute, (laughs) (laughs) something about this don't feel right. Yeah, something, So, by the time they figured that out, then it came to a lawsuit. They were suing them. So, he settled with everybody except for one of them. So, you see in the movie, if you watch it, that the one that did not settle... You should watch it. You should watch it. It's a good It's a good movie. You should watch it. The one that doesn't settle starts to um, harass them, basically, which I don't know what the... I don't know what the point of that is, but he starts to harass them. So... The thing that I was saying um, before we started was that this is listed as a comedy satire. So a satire is defined as the use of humor, irony, exaggeration, or ridicule to expose and criticize people's stupidity or vices, particularly in the context of contemporary politics and other topical issues. Okay, I get that, and I see that, because that piece that's the scandal, that's the... um, that's the, the 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 topical issue, right? That's the the thing that's uh, sensationalized, right? Part of the movie, but it stops being a comedy at that point. <laughs> and my question is, if it had been women, women or young women, right? Because these were young men. So if they had been young women, would it would had would it had still been? I feel like that grammar is wrong, but okay. would it have still been? Satire would it have still been the shock thing? Oh my gosh, that's what it was, right? Or would it have been funny? Did you see what I'm saying? Yeah, because here's the thing: we've seen it. We literally in 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 in, in our lifetime, seen prominent pastors get hit with the boy situation, but we also seen them get hit with the girl situation. But it's quieter. Yeah, and that's the interesting part: is to why is it different when it's a like that's just normal. Yeah, and women. Why is it like okay? Nobody says anything because that's when you see, okay. So when you see, you know, there's a scandal. You automatically think, oh, he got caught with somebody. Some Not girl a guy, got a baby pregnant. Girl, right, he somebody, got somebody pregnant. Yeah, yeah something. He was doing something with some escort. Whatever it was, that's what, that's what you presume that. But when you find out what it is, it's kind of like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, it's different. It's, it's no longer funny. It's, it's, no, it's not fun. Like, and I'm, like, totally serious. Like, up until that point, you are there's some moments you're like, oh, my gosh, it's so yeah, crazy. You know, you laugh. <sighs> and then when you find out what it is, it becomes more like, oh, my gosh, that's why. And I guess that's the point of it, maybe, right? To make you think. That it's supposed to make you think. But it's kind of like, oh. <laughs> but then again, why does it? Why, why is it more of an impact? Because when it, it was young men, men and not young women. Because the point of what I'm trying to say is, is that even though this is a movie, this is happening in our society. Why is it that if it happens to a woman, it's okay? Okay, it you know it but is it's what like it is. But if it happens to a man, if yeah. It's with a but man. if it's dealing with a man, it's just it's oh no, we gotta stop. 
we can't let this go on. You know, to... why is that? Why, why, why are we still, as I keep saying for other things in the 21st century, 2022, why is that? Why are we still in that same place? It's kind of like the, no matter what your uh, stance is on, you know, and I'm not trying to go there with this, but yeah. no matter what your stance is on pro-life or pro-choice, at the, at the end of the day, you're telling women they don't have autonomy over their bodies. That's like beginning and end of it. You know, you're giving, uh, you know, the young man, I cannot remember where he lives right now, but a young man, you know, you you raped a girl. They convicted you. Like the jury found oh, you guilty oh, dude, of rape. Yeah. And the judge said, oh, I'm just going to, you're not going to jail because you wouldn't make it because he was a young white guy. Yeah. He won't make it in prison. Now, he don't rape the girl. He did. He did the deed. He got convicted, but he wouldn't go make it in prison. So, yeah, I'm not. But gonna, I I'm think it leads to the so thought. Why, why do women have to? You know, I don't know. So but I know I th- that's totally. <laughs> I think it leads <laughs> to the thought process that women are less valued than men in every aspect of the situation, because, like you say, it happens to women. Regular, yeah, I've seen it yeah. firsthand. I I watched it, was it happen here. Yeah, yeah, and so. the thing, yeah. You know, so the thing becomes, <laughs> you know, yeah, remember, yeah. Oh my God! After they they put it out there, it was on the news, and then it was something else. I, 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 because of what circles I run in, I kind of heard some things, but it's that thing of like, um, okay, it happened, but. You hear things about the boys. I've heard situations about men, you know, preachers and other uh, and men. But it's like, I think I think it's just de- value different. Yeah, for whatever th- reason. I don't, because I, I think people people miss people have a missing understanding of the of the sin aspect of it. It's worse if it's a boy because it's a boy. So it's like, one. But the, again, that goes back to that doesn't mean that it's okay yeah. or right because it's a woman. Because I think the so film, and, and, and I think that was the thing with the film. It was, I don't know if the purpose was to shed light that it happens because people know that it happens. Right. Hey, it happens in Catholicism all day long. It happens in the Catholic Church regularly. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they, they boys, can. boys. They're not even young men. No, they, that's some pedophiles. Stuff. Yeah, that's pedophile. This is not, this is, this is this not is, pedophilia because these are not This children. is, I, would, I, I dare these to say. Adult, you know, I guess you could suspect they're 18 and older, even though 18, but they're still <laughs> considered an adult. And either way it goes, but, it's predatory. So you should, see, here's the thing. You should be doing T- it. Tell me this. Do the boys, do you think the boys are showing signs that they're interested uh, and going that way, and I say that way no, it's, I out think of respect. It, I, it's pro- and I don't know, uh, but I think it's it could be twofold. It could be that, so then you're easy target because of that. Yeah, and then maybe they feel obligated because you have done these things. So but I, feel I don't think a person to, who's not interested in that, and that, and that's where my dilemma runs. And then you figure out once you find out what the scandal really is, what the issue is, then you, everything it, else makes sense as to why they act, why she responds to him in the way she responds to him, why the intimate issue happened in the bedroom, then you, you figure out. You kind of actually figure it out before during that. that scene. You kind of be like, you may you may figure it out before then, but when you watch the movie and you see that scene, it kind of is like, oh. But see, like, <laughs> if you look at the young man that, that did that's not... That's what the problem is. If you look at the one, the one that didn't take the deal, right? Yes. You can see he kind of likes men, boys, gay, or whatever, but... And I'm not making an excuse for that, but what I'm saying is... Oh, I said, what, I said yeah, that so that made he him, may go after people... So that way, it's... Yeah. So the, like and, it's okay I guess because, that's yeah. And I guess that's why for me it's the thing of not to excuse his behavior, but to say, are you showing signs that you want him, or you like him, or did at some point? Because if he's giving, like the real situation, I, I ain't gonna say who's involved and all that, but I'll say this: uh, uh, cars were given and expensive trips were taken. If you a male and a female, I ain't taking you to the Bahamas and buying you no car, and I ain't getting nothing out the deal. So to me, it's like, well, in that situation, where's your accountability at? In that, that situation, I'm not gonna say who it is because it's just a But anyway, uh, but in that situation, I think he was giving. I think they were younger, 
when he started the prom the it the biggest issue with that besides the other part was that I think they were younger when he began as the, the word they process. used is grooming them. And then when they got of age, it went farther. But see, so when they I got say, a, okay, so I don't but, know, but here's I, the thing, I, you know, right? But when they got of age, it. at what point do you have to take accountability to say, "Hey, I don't"? This ain't when I, I, I didn't sign up for this. I don't this. know. You know, maybe a Stockholm type thing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So is that we're going to go with the Stockholm Syndrome? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. I'll let that be the reason then. I'll let that be the reason. I don't know. So, I don't know. But as a whole, I think the movie was good uh, for what it was. It it didn't end Uh, quite the way that I thought it would. uh, No, but I think it was decent for what it was. I don't think it was a... It did good. I don't know. I I would have took it to the theaters. Yeah, Let, give me a minute, real quick. Let's let's look and see what it, how much it made. Let me see if I can find in the theaters. Yeah, so oh. it made two point six million in the box office. Okay, but how much did it cost to so make? So that's what I'm finna. Let's see how much it costs to make. Then, because did Netflix make this or did they buy this? This is not Netflix. It's Peacock. Oh, Peacock. Yeah, I'm sorry, Peacock. That's an interesting question. Did they buy it or did they make it? Then Peacock, I don't know Peacock to really make things. Uh, I don't know. Well, I mean, it ended up in theater, so I, I would say Peacock is a distributor at this point. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Hold on, guys. I'm looking. So that's the interesting thing. What did it make? What did it cost to make? Did it? Was it? Was it? Yeah. Was it something worth? Did it cost to make? Let's see. All I keep getting is that it's two point. It made two point six million at the box office. Oh, okay, and then uh, Regina Hall and Sterling Brown were also producers. Okay, so they produ- I Here's the thing. I don't know. Uh, maybe if we find it, we'll put it in the comments of what it was made and uh, uh, cost to make. Rather, yeah, you know, that's that's what I want to know because I think. Okay, so it was sold. So this was a Sundance movie. Okay. And it sold to, this is per variety, it sold to uh, Fo- Focus Features, Peacock, and Jordan Peele's Monkey Paw for $8.5 million. So if it was sold for $8.5 million, what was it sold to Peacock? It's a Peacock. Well, Peacock is a distributor, remember? Yeah, so... If, Basically. So Peacock paid $8.5 million. So the movie, which... And again, this is per variety. The movie, which premiered at the Sundance Film Festival to positive reviews, will debut in theaters and on NBC Universal streaming service Peacock later this year. And I did not know uh, that, that NBC this was at uh, Sundance. Peacock. Yeah. I know. Bless your heart. <laughs> so uh, it's Peacock. And I know. Peacock the Bird. Yeah. But I, logo. I yeah. You know what? Help him, Jesus. Uh, I, I, the fact that this I'm was at Sundance that that makes tricks. so much sense now of the ending. Because I just said I didn't like the ending. It ends like an independent movie. If well, it is sense. an independent movie. I know. I said it ends like, like an independent movie. Okay. I needed some more closure, and it didn't give that. Now, the movie is good. I, right? Well, I, it, it's good. I can't say what I, I think the ending meant. I suggest that you should watch it. Yeah. Because, and I guess you could say the ending is left up and left up to interpretation. But I think so. the ending was a revelation for uh, uh, the character. Oh, for the character for, for Regina Hall's for Regina character. Regina Hall's character. Oh, definitely. She did. That, that, that is what the, it was. That was the ending. She was like, oh my gosh, you're just not gonna... You're not gonna catch the clue. You're, you're, okay. you're a space cadet and you won't land. So I'm gonna let you land by yourself. She doesn't leave him or you don't see this, but you do come to terms with the fact that she's like, this, hey, hey, bro. I'm good. You're playing too much. Yeah. Oh, saying. and then I forgot to give y'all the uh, the little deep stuff. I said who did that. Oh, I didn't tell you who. The uh, director is Adama Ebo, and the writer is Adama oh. Ebo. Yep. So. So what do you give this movie? Uh, uh, how many Googles do you give this movie? I would give this movie three and a half Googles. <laughs> I have to cut my mic off so I can sneeze. Uh, think you said what? I said three and a half Coopers. It was a good movie. I'm not. Here's the thing. I love the people in it. 
Yes. Did not like the movie very much. They did. And I'm not awesome going to watch it again. Let's no, say, I'm not. I'm not watching it. I'm not <laughs> listening to it. I won't watch it again. I, I, oh, at man. very best, no, I'm going to give it a strong two goobers. And that's just and, 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 and not because here's the thing, not because of the actors. They they did a. a I didn't like his. They thing. did a phenomenal job. It's Regina like the movie. Hall, I, all of them did a phenomenal it's, job. It's like the movie Burning Sands. Okay. Didn't like that. Wasn't happy with that. Primarily because they both it talked about things that I am it's ministry or Greek them, and I just prefer. There's certain things you exorberated. It didn't show everything. It just showed what made sense to it. So and it was extremely. It went. It was extremely extreme. <laughs> like yeah, it, it went, just went way out. It was like, like whoa, what? who's what? gonna do this? Like, when did you decide to stop using your brain? Yeah. So, oh, <laughs> so for, for me, for burning sands. Yeah. But so. they did a great job acting in it. But yeah. three and a half. And then reading this article from Variety, it actually was a short film. So that means that it was a short film that you made into a feature length film. And you probably so, should have left for the short. So but, that, uh, that made that see as you as you, further, as you do more most. research, yeah, it, it kind of tells you a little bit more. But Sterling K. Brown, Regina Hall, Nicole Bahari, everyone that acted in this movie did an a phenomenal excellent job. job. They did an awesome job. I just didn't like um, the story. Just didn't the content was oh who you doing too much. That, and then, like, he got caught again. Yeah. After and then, the and then like, he what? did it again. And 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 then the thing about it is, is that that's true to life, right? You yeah, don't learn like, your lesson the first eight times you did it. You get caught up. And then she still <laughs> sit up there talking to her. Ain't nobody finna do all that. And look, you, because, okay. again, because she, that was her identity was being first lady. And now it's taken away from me because you have these proclivities. So you need to go live your truth. And we need to have a conversation control, about you know. living your truth. Yeah. That don't involve me. Right. Know? So, yeah. Which is probably the realization she came to at the end of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, that's all we have today. Yes. I'm don't Will. And I'm Nikita. Don't forget to leave any comments down below. Uh, if you've watched the movie, if you go watch the movie and then you come back to the review and you say, well, this is what I got or whatever, we would love to hear what you got to say. Yeah. Again, don't forget to hear. Don't forget to hear. I'm sorry, y'all. Don't forget to subscribe, follow, share, and hit the notification bell so you'll know. Comment. And comment. Uh, so you'll know we have more videos coming. Also, in the comment section, be nice. Don't be rude. It's okay to be nice. Be, ki be kind. Yep, see? Be, be kind. kind. Hey, yes. also on our website, justyousoapcompany.com, <laughs> www.justyousoapcompany.com. Go check us out. Look. Look. Okay. Look, uh, I'm not, so hey, look, I'm not one of them, them people on YouTube. Anything, I, we made that show. Anything you see us wear is ours. Oh, yeah, we're not wearing other people's stuff. Sorry, no. not doing it. I'm not um, for free. <laughs> yeah, if you got questions about what we got on you like it, go ahead and leave us a comment down below. We can we'll make it happen up. for you. Right, we'll get you the Cash App, PayPal, or see you to the website. Anyway, uh, <laughs> remember <laughs> to be blessed and have a goober-tastic day. Peace.